Kevin Nao Yong, a professor at the Singapore Institute of Technology. Uh, my question relate to uh, your four suggestions, and uh, I think there's some uh, good suggestions. Uh, I have one more additional suggestion, a fifth suggestion. Uh, as we know, okay, old people, they do not like to move uh, from their house. So buying and selling a house is a big decision. And if you ask a typical, uh, you know, 65 years old, uh, you know, a couple, they would prefer to stay in their house. And uh, I'm just wondering whether, what do you think of reverse mortgage? Uh, so we understand that the banks, uh, the local banks, uh, prohibit uh, reverse mortgages for HDB flats, and uh, we also understand that uh, you know the uh, reverse mortgages does have its own uh, pitfall, especially if you over uh, utilize that. But if you just use, for example, say uh, 10, 20 percent of your equity value, so in other words, if you have a HDB flat which is like five hundred thousand dollars. And you use your mortgage to get maybe a hundred thousand uh, dollars to 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 help them with their daily uh, you know spending needs. Um, so just wondering what you think of this idea. Thank you. Okay, I've got uh, about the reverse mortgage using say ten percent of today's five hundred thousand equity, take out the cash. is similar to the lease buyback scheme, and this one had a few. Um, during a few discussions around this topic during the, our national conversation on housing around the year 2012, Minister um, Corbun Wan got it going. And, um, the take-up rate apparently is low, similar to lease buyback scheme, because this generation of above 65 year olds usually profile of the couple is one is a homemaker, the other one is the income earner. So much so that they don't actually have sufficient retirement sum in the CPF. So if you were to give them 100000 back from the equity of their homes, actually most of this doesn't come to them as cash. And so they then top up their CPF retirement accounts and they get a, an additional sum monthly, which most of them find is not worthwhile. And then dealing with these older HDBs that Today, the equity value is 500,000, so we release them 10% of the 500,000. But it, in 10 years' time, this flat's value is no more 500,000. It may drop to 300,000. And then, does the bank then suffer any write downs and risks on their books? So, yeah, and, but that 10 or 20% is of a shrinking value. So, these two, too many moving parts for a private multinational to, to take care of it still has to come back to the responsibility of the government, which is HDB. Thanks. I think um, in terms of lease buyback or reverse mortgage schemes, um, the LBS is quite a good scheme. Um, the problem is that the, it has been very unpopular. The take-up rate since 10 years ago of the LBS is only 3,100 units okay, after 10 years. And the principal reason seems to be that because we are Asians, we do want to have some request left to the next generation. If LBS scheme, by definition, you give back, you, you stay until you die and you give back the last remaining 30 years to the government, you sell it back to the government, leaving nothing for your descendants. So this seems to be really unpopular with people, even though it does make financial sense. And the problem is that you've got to catch it early because after, if you have still 60 years left, you can say, okay, I retire, I have 30 years to live, I sell the last 30 years, but if, if you own an older flat, then that option is not that You don't have enough runway to do that, right? And so the, the proposals that we have, you will see, leave a significant bequest in, in, all, in all scenarios. Right? First of all, in the, in, 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 in the scenario where you keep the flat and you keep it, uh, you tend the lease, you get it renewed, you have a SERS, and with the SERS, I think, Tsuyang, did, maybe you didn't mention just now, you get a new 99-year lease, right, with the SERS. With that, you have uh, something that is almost perpetually being renewed and perpetually potentially within your family. Okay, so that is a perpetual request. However, a lot of them will be sold, okay, as uh, people have more than one kid. So when you pass away, you need to, to divide the inheritance. Uh, you do need to actually... Uh, many people cannot afford to keep the whole amount as a bequest. They need to take the second bite of the cherry. They need to, to downsize, capitalize on it for their retirement. 
So uh, for that reason, even if they do so, the second bite of the cherry, we, we hope that they will be given a 99-year leasehold built to order, which will still leave significant residu residual value for bequest. So hopefully this will be a more 